got a new box today. It is as promised. It is the Teslong, their latest articulating board scope. Pretty excited about this, honestly. Haven't opened it yet. Don't know what I'm gonna find in there. But <coughs> if it's anything like their other unit, which I did review in the previous video not too long ago, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be satisfied with it. And you will too. Um, the price point is excellent. It's less than $300 one of these uh, at the moment check it out not too bad it is uh it's got a waterproofing um waterproof rating to it i believe it is an ip uh, 67 if i'm not mistaken uh, you guys could pause it right there if you want to see the whole box thing and whatnot pretty nice packaging but that's not what matters. Well, eh, I guess to a point. A nice case. It is not a hard uh, blow molded case like the other one was, which I do like. I like these better. I'm not gonna lie. Noise. Obviously, this is the first time I even look at this thing. I haven't charged it. Who knows if it'll even boot but it is a much shorter cable right off the bat that's the first thing i can notice it is a five foot cable which i cannot complain let's go ahead and take this cap off and that's maybe what a half inch or a third of an inch maybe a half inch a diameter right there semi-rigid cable uh, you guys know how I feel about the semi-rigid. It is a fixed screen. Uh, obviously, you're not going to want to drop this thing. It is a two-way articulating bar scope. Let's see how far it can bend. I wonder if it will bend more than my uh, other one. That's a pretty good radius right there. That is not bad at all. This will fit into any spark plug hole you can dream of. Obviously, this is an unboxing video. We don't have it in action. But I did promise that I will come out with a video of it as soon as possible. It is a Bluetooth enabled or Wi-Fi, I think it is. All I know is that it is a wireless capability, uh, capable board scope. And you can pretty much see some stuff here. I will try to get some shots, record some shots and put them full screen for you. But you gotta love the articulation. That is huge, fellas. You will have no problems looking at valves while you're in cylinder. I like it a lot. Doesn't look like this cable, this cable does twist here. Maybe it is serviceable. Yeah, I'm not going to remove it completely. Just a basic, very basic overview. Comes with a USB card, I believe. 32 gigs. Don't know what the max size is. Let's see if we could change it to... To video mode. It has three light options. Let's see, mode. And it does record audio just like the other one. It shows temperature. That's kind of surprising. And I don't know where the microphone is necessarily. The, it looks like a speaker is here. I'm pretty sure the microphone will be somewhere in this head unit. And not in where the uh, video sensor, the camera sensor is. We have options for resolution. Press OK. Oh, let's put that into 1080, of course. Audio recording yes let's get out of here somehow automatic shutdown options five to ten minutes let's put five minutes on there we got Wi-Fi so it is Wi-Fi not Bluetooth which is nice let's go to the other mode and change the resolution go to 2M and go back to our camera mode 
so that looks pretty nice I believe it is a step up in resolution from the one that I previously checked out alright so we got our Mini Cooper here one of the things I like I'm gonna keep this as straight as I can so I can stick it down the board but one of the things I do like is that you have a point of reference here um, it's not that easy when you have a 360 articulating scope to find perfect middle but it sure is nice to find that you know once you're inside the cylinder you want to bring it back out you're gonna want to bring this down to the middle so let's see how this thing fits it's a very this I think I think this might be the smallest uh, hole that you could possibly get it into uh, spark plug hole that is <laughs> and uh, let's see how it does so we're in the cylinder and we can see it looks looks good I mean I think it looks good let's take a look at the valves stick that sucker all the way in there and with my other my uh, the video scope I could not even look at my own you could not look at the uh, bore scope itself it would not turn enough to see itself but this one has a great turning radius you can see a lot down there of course you'll you'll be limited you'll have the standard limitations of any articulating bore scope which is you cannot get a perfect 90 degrees uh, close enough to see the, the valve face so it's just a small limitation but it's a limitation nonetheless we spoke about that in the review video before um, I'm actually impressed with this uh, semi-rigid design I can actually twist it a lot easier obviously you're not going to want to twist this thing to the point where you're going to damage the thing but it sure is not bad I'm trying whatever I can do to get a look at that valve face but it's just not going to happen of course that's where the 90 degree angle bore scope comes into play but for what I need it for to look at the valves themselves it does the job pretty well I cannot complain about that so obviously we're going to have to straighten out the bore scope before we yank it out of the bore. So let's bring that indicator back to center and pull that sucker out. You do not want to force it out. Um, let me know what you guys think. How's the quality? How's the footage look? Does it look good to you? Leave it in the comment section. This thing actually turns even more than I originally thought. Look at that thing. I mean, wow. If you can't see what you're trying to look at with that turning radius, I mean, you're just not going to look at it. You're not going to see it. <laughs> that comes in handy. I, I, that comes in handy. I cannot stress that enough concerning a borescope. This is just a quick overview. I like how much easier it is to put it in and out of the case. I truly cannot complain because the other one was cumbersome. This will take some work. I, I, I don't know how much I'll use this case, but... Also gives you a slot for other stuff, maybe your charger, you could throw that right in there. I'm going to put a link in the description for your uh, convenience. And let me know what you think of it. If you do grab one, let me know. Guys, I don't make a commission off of this. I, <laughs> I am simply just putting products that I like out there. And this is something that's very affordable. Anybody can grab one of these in that 290 range i think everyone should have a board scope it's only limited by your creativity so anywho i'll leave it at that thank you all for tuning in i appreciate you all taking the time leave a comment in the comment section consider subscribing if you want to see more of this stuff i plan i definitely plan on using this thing a lot more so be sure to subscribe and uh hit that bell notification to get notified whenever whenever another video comes out so and uh, don't forget to hit like. Uh, that helps my channel out. It helps it uh, get seen more. The algorithm or whatever. Yeah, I truly do appreciate every single one of you. So thanks a lot for watching. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.